Hello everyone. Welcome to Cyber Today Academy. Today we will explain what is Durbuster and how to use it in scanning web applications. Let's start with. What is Durbuster? Durbuster is a file directory penetration testing tool with a graphic user interface, GUI that is used to brute force directories and file names on web application servers. Also, it can be used command line. Durbuster is written in Java and programmed by the members of the OWASP community. Durbuster is pre-installed into Kali Linux, so as long as you have your Kali system set up, you should be good to go. Now, how to use Durbuster. To use Durbuster go to Applications menu, and then search for, Durbuster. Durbuster screen will show up, you see in the top of screen, target URL, right name of the target server you want to explore. Then you will see, number of thread bellow. The default thread is 10, if you increase the thread the search will be faster but this could exhaust the targeted server. Then, we need to specify the word list for the attack. Click on Browse, then go up to Root. Then click on Urza. The click on Share. Then Word List. Then Durbuster. And choose one of existing lists. Now click on Start. We see now the Durbuster started exploring the target. Now let us leave for a couple of minutes and come back again to see the results. We see now the Durbuster found one directory and need about one hour to finish. Let us leave again and see. Now, we see that Durbuster found another directory and this directory has more files, which increases the time needed to finish to 3 hours. Let's click on stop and see the scan results. If we click on the result list view tab, we will see all files and directories discovered by the scan. Also, you can see them in tree view if you clicked on the result tree view tab. Also, you can see the errors found if you clicked on error tab. Finally, to save our scan report, click on report. Choose the file extension you desire, click on report. Choose the file extension you desire, and where you want to save it then click Generate Report. Now, let us take time to discuss the most important options in Durbuster. Option 1, Work Method. The default auto-switch mode is probably best for the majority of cases. Durbuster will first try to see if it can get sensible results from head requests, the reason being that the responses will be smaller. Even though it makes a GET request on 200 responses, this will save time when the 404 message, or equivalent is relatively large. Option 2, Number of Threads. Running Durbuster with a high number of threads can slow down the target server, which may not go down too well if you're testing a live site. You'll probably find the default, tend to be a little over-enthusiastic. Option 3, Dictionary. Assuming you opt for list-based brute force, you'll now need to choose a dictionary, and for this you need to know whether or not your directories are case-sensitive. Although you can often guess this from the server in use, e.g. IIS isn't case-sensitive, it's always best to check. Option 4, Starting Options. The standard start point will assume directories end with and files end with whatever you configure underneath. The URL fuzz option allows you to insert the dictionary entries into the URL in a non-standard way. 
the remaining options are self-explanatory but there are still a few things to consider. Obviously the more options you tick the longer the scan will take. So look first at the style of URL the website uses. If you enable the Be Recursive option, remember that Durbuster's multi-threaded approach means that all those queues of work will be competing for a limited set of workers. End of lesson. You can see the written article in the link below. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, you can support us by pressing like and subscribe.to our channel. Goodbye.